Okay, uh, for last subtopic untuk biocatalysis adalah 4.3 which is inhibitors. Okay, so for inhibitor actually we have three learning outcome. Uh, the first one we need to know what is inhibitor. Uh, the second one, we want to know what is the roles and types of reversible inhibitor. So, under reversible inhibitor, we have competitive and non-competitive inhibitor. And then, the last learning outcome is analyze graph related to competitive and non-competitive inhibitor. So, kita akan tengoklah uh, graph of enzymatic reaction if we have competitive in and non-competitive inhibitor in that reaction. Okay, first let's have a look uh, at the definition of inhibitor. So, inhibitor here refer to uh, a substance that slow down or stop enzyme control reaction. So, inhibitor ni kalau kita literally translate maksudnya uh, lebih kurang macam uh, sebagai pengacau lah. Uh, benda yang mengacau atau orang yang mengacau atau penghalang kepada satu-satu uh, proses ataupun reaction. So, bila dia ada dalam satu-satu reaction, apa yang berlaku adalah dia akan slow down uh, ataupun stopkan enzymatic reaction. Okay? So, untuk inhibitor, uh, actually dia punya kerja bind pada enzyme. Uh, tetapi, kita tengoklah untuk bind pada enzyme, enzyme dia ada dua side. Satu active side, another one adalah allosteric side. So, later on kita akan tengok which one of the inhibitor will bind to the active side uh, and then which one will bind to the allosteric side. So, for inhibitor, actually we have two types. Uh, the first one adalah reversible inhibitor. Okay, and then the second one adalah uh, irreversible inhibitor. Okay, which is dia akan bind permanently. So, untuk reversible inhibitor, uh, which is causes reversible inhibition, uh, bawah reversible inhibition, uh, inhibition ni kita ada tadilah competitive and non-competitive inhibitor okay and then untuk inhibitor yang bind permanently to enzyme kita dia akan menyebabkan irreversible inhibition so for this one actually adalah out of syllabus so if you want to read on your own as a extra information so you may read on your own okay so I will not focus on uh, inhibitor that bind permanently to enzyme. I will just focus on inhib inhibitor that will bind reversibly to an enzyme. So, apa maksud reversible ni? Kita akan tengok on the next slide. Okay. So, uh, disebabkan kita nak fokus pada reversible inhibition. So, reversible inhibition occur when inhibitor bind to enzyme by non-covalent bond loosely and temporarily. Maksudnya, reversible inhibitor ni dia akan bind secara um, loose sahaja. Maksudnya, tidak terlalu tightly, tidak terlalu rapat ataupun ketat lah I would say. And then... The second one dia akan bind secara temporarily. Maksudnya sekejap sajalah. Dia bukan bind permanently selama-lamanya. Dia akan bind temporarily. And then reversible inhibition uh, which is inhibitor yang causes reversible inhibition. It will not causes permanent damage to enzyme. Okay? So tidak ada masalah. Uh, yang permanent lah kepada enzyme sebab dia bind loosely okay? bukan uh, uh, dia bind loosely and temporarily bukannya permanent so kalau dia bind permanent mungkin dia boleh menyebabkan damage to enzyme and then apa yang berlaku kalau kita remove uh, inhibitor ni yang reversible inhibitor ni jawapannya adalah kita boleh restore balik enzyme activity back to normal Uh, so, tak ada masalah lah uh, kalau ada reversible inhibitor. Okay? Kalau kita remove dia daripada reaction tu, kita boleh restore balik enzymatic activity. 
So untuk reversible inhibition saya cakap tadi kita ada dua jenis Satu competitive, another one is non-competitive Okay, so the difference between competitive and non-competitive actually Uh, tengok kepada site yang dia bind So kalau competitive inhibitor dia akan bind pada active site of enzyme Tapi non-competitive inhibitor dia akan bind pada allosteric site of enzyme Okay let's say kita lukis lah enzyme dekat sini eh. uh, Okay Okay so ni adalah enzyme Okay, uh, so yang besar sikit tu adalah active side and then uh, yang kecil sikit ni adalah allosteric side. So, untuk active side, yang bind pada active side adalah competitive inhibitor. So, kalau kita tengok shape of active site ni, kita boleh predict sebenarnya uh, structure of competitive inhibitor. So, actually dia lebih kurang 4 segi lah sebenarnya. And then for your information, actually competitive inhibitor, dia punya structure similar to substrate. Kenapa? Sebab substrate pun bind pada active site of enzyme. So, competitive inhibitor ni dia ada similar shape. Okay, bukan same shape. Kalau same tu macam exactly. Okay, tapi similar is not same. Uh, it looks like. Okay, and then untuk allosteric side. Uh, <laughs> terpadam pula. Okay, untuk allosteric side dia uh, adalah side untuk non-competitive inhibitor bind. Okay, uh, so nanti kita akan tengok lah selepas ni macam mana. Okay, that's all for introduction for inhibitor.